you know, if you just throw the food in front of them, um, you're making it boring for them. So a lot of times we'll put the hay up in hay bags and things that they got to really work to pinch the hay out of. And this is uh, called environmental enrichment. And uh, so they'll drag the thing around. Opal will throw that thing right up on our back. <coughs> Yeah, it's great. Some of your upperclassmen made us, uh, I think, four really well-made toys out of some fire hose we got for them. So that's awesome. And we'll spring them on them at different, you know, we'll put this away for a few months after a little bit here, and we'll take one of the others out. There's about a half a dozen carrots in there, and she knows they're mm -hmm. in there. So do they stay primarily in this area, or do you have some other fenced off? I know uh, this is right now our fenced yep. off area right here, about an acre, which is half an acre per elephant. Yep. The AZA recommends half an acre per elephant. That being said, if I had healthy young elephants, right. this would not be you know, a great facility for them. Though it is better than, like this is more room inside and out than the Brock Zoo has for three. This is more room inside and out that Roger Williams in, in Providence has for three.